Hello everyone, I'm Fork Supper, and welcome back to Nightmare of the Snow. Alright, so, I'm finally back as Yuki, so that's pretty cool, but at the same time, I was thinking I was gonna do more things as, uh, Taiga. And, uh, I, I, I wanna get back to the whole story with Taiga, cause, cause, uh, him being trapped with those guys, that, that's no good. It looked like they got him good, and that, that, that would be really, really sad. I was worried that it ended right there, too. But, probably, that ain't the case for him, maybe. Hopefully. Let's see, the bookshelf is full of novel and school-related books. Are we still at the... your parents' room? Oh, wait a minute. So this was supposed to be my room. But it looks nothing like my room. Oh yeah, duh, it's not the actual room. Duh. <laughs> totally forgot about that. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see. Nothing important. Can't get through that. Alright, so... Is there no more dangers in here then? And can I go through here? Oh, I can, cool. This... I don't know if I should... Be worried about this area. There are some pieces of paper on the floor. Shirokage Ray, Paranormal Investigation Part 3. After wandering for several hours inside the mansion, I accidentally arrived in this stinking room. I guess there are some corpses inside. This room is the Kirai family's torture chamber. They usually cage their captured enemies here. Sochi Kirihara said that this room is his best entertainment theater. Based on what I've read in one of the archives, the Kirihara family has a unique way of torturing their prisoners. They usually freeze a prisoner's limbs by putting it into a bucket filled with water taken from the underground ice cavern. After they freeze it, the frozen limb will be shattered to pieces using a pickaxe. The shattered pieces are later stabbed into the remaining limbs. This, in this is indeed in extremely cruel. Ugh. That's very inhuman. Yes, yes it is. That is, that is very cruel. You're gonna move, aren't you? I should be prepared for that. Ain't gonna scare me this time. Mm-mm. Ugh, it seems colder out there, but I've got to go there, right? We got no other choice, senorita. Ugh, it's so freezing here. Well then, we need to get moving quick. We need to figure out where to go. Should we go up? Mmm, I'm tempted, but I think I'll look down first. Just in case. But then this looks like I would have to go there. What if it's not? Maybe it could roam around. Just maybe. We'll find out. Let's see what's in here. Door is locked. Okay. Not a place to go to. Maybe going down here would be kind of an exit. That's a no. Okay, if that's the case, I'm gonna go up. I wanna see what's up here. Double doors. Door's completely sealed by an unknown force. Oh, okay. Something tells me that beyond this door is where the ice reincarnation ritual was held in the past. That's a possibility. And since you're using your senses, you might be right. Alright. Ruin me, I would have no idea. <laughs> well. Okay. Okay, I was waiting for something to happen and nothing was happening. I mean, because I had to read through this. Entering the cave without permission is forbidden. It wasn't letting me read from the other side. That was weird. Yeah, it didn't have anything. Alright, so there's a cave going down that direction. And, okay, there's something else here. So I might as well go straight down. Well, this isn't the cave. Yes, yeah, she is confused. This is a village? Seems abandoned for years. Over here. Over here. Huh? <laughs> Follow me. <gasps> Ooh. Wait, you have to be the same spirit, right? Just without the red eyes? Huh. I'm not sure if it's the same or someone different. Could be a different soul. What? 
Okay, that brought up some spikes. I was worried I was gonna get killed and <laughs> I just moved fast. But I'm safe. I'm fine. A mirror is made up of ice. Okay. I'm gonna save on top of this, I guess. I think I'll be fine with that. Can I move this? No. In order to open the door upstairs, two people must work together. Does that mean I'm gonna bump into Kayako, maybe? Because that'd be great. Or, I might have I might uh, have a help of spirit, maybe? Beyond this tower is the Kirihara Mansion's residence. Well, okie doke. You gonna do anything? No. You got nothing either. Alright, I'm gonna wait for that to go down. And, okay, that was sudden death. <laughs> Good thing I saved then. Horrible. That was horrible. Attempt to! Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. With supersonic speed. Woo! Oh yeah, I read that. Okay, should be good there. Alright. I need some backup. Pronto. And I think I'm gonna have to move slowly. Oh, that's what they mean by needing two people. Well, that's just great, because uh, there's no one here. I got no one to help me out. Unless one of these bodies want to move for me, you know? Nothing? No? No volunteers? Oh, man. Well, it seems like I do have to go through here, but it didn't let me earlier. <laughs> yep, it didn't let me. I guess I can't do anything in there. Is there does be another place to go to? Right? Uh huh. There is more to see, so I don't have to worry about going in there yet. So that's good. That's very good. Let's see, piece of paper on the ground. Shirokage Ray's Paranormal Investigation Part 5. I am missing Part 4. I found out that the Kirihara family has their own diaries. I read some of them, especially Souchi's diary. Unfortunately, the diaries are scattered across this lost dimension for unknown reasons. To find and read them all is my main objective for now. I'm pretty sure that if I read them all, I'll discover how this lost dimension was made. That's, that's great. There's a book titled Kirihara Diaries, which instantly caught your attention. Each of the Kirihara family members has their own diary. The diaries can be distinguished by their colors. Cool. So Uchi Kirihara Blue Diary, uh, Seiko Kirihara Purple, Yukiko White, and Haruto. Kazama? Black Diary. Hmm. I wonder if that was the assassin. Or maybe that's just some other person who is considered a very important person of the family. One of the very important. Okay, so now I just gotta find these different colored diaries. Um, and I already forgot what color is what. <laughs> um, I remember Yokiko is white. The other guy is black and then so cheese is blue I forgot <laughs> I forgot the color and I think Seiko's purple there's some blood flowing under the bookshelf someone's probably crushed under the bookshelf and that that ain't nice okay let's not not worry about that anymore nothing to see here there's gotta be something nothing Nothing important here? Why is this here? Uh, I don't know. But I'll just save anyway. Can I see what's over here? Nope. Okay. So I guess there's nothing important in this- Oh. Okay. I wish I saw that. Do you want to go down? I might as well since I saved. And souls. It's great. Boop. You don't see me. Yeah, don't see me. And I'm good. Cool. Oh, and then there's another one. But he can't catch me. He's too slow. Oh, snap. Whoa. <gasps> Ouch. Wait a minute. Kayako. Yuki. Oh, God. Where have you been? Thank God I finally found someone other than spirits. That goes for me, too. I haven't seen any one than spirits. Could you please tell me where have you been? 
I really want to know. Well, it all began many years ago. Okay, that's too much. I see. So you met Shirokage. Well, he's the one who told me that you're nearby somewhere. I've got to thank him then for making us meet each other. Oh, have you met Taiga yet? Nope, I haven't met him. Shirokage probably hasn't met him too. Well, he's probably fine on his own. Nope. By the way, what should we do now? We got no lead. Hmm. Looking for Taiga would be really nice. I think we would make that the priority. And then we could look for Seiko's room. Let's do that. We should probably look for Taiga. Really? Don't you think we should do something else? I believe he's fine on his own. No. No. But he's our friend. He's one of us. We should go look for him. <laughs> I'm just testing you. Alright then, let's try finding him. I was about to say, you can't be that cruel, woman. After you seeing that flashback. Un? Okay, so I'm assuming... Are we together? I should go back and find out. There was that, uh... Watch out, there's two evil spirits here. Okay, yeah. So she's with me. Let's be careful then. Okay. That guy is moving kind of fast. There we go. I want to go back up and save. And then go back to that place. And then we can start looking for Taiga. But I wonder if he'll be around that area. That's maybe, right? There we go. That's what I wanted to see. And that's cool. I probably should have saved on a different memory, but that's fine. Oops. Whoa. That's cool. Alright. On to the... Wait. Oh. Wrong way. <laughs> I meant to go through here. Let's descend. Woohoo. And it was a good thing I came down here, too. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bumped into Kayako sooner. Huh, maybe I should have done the other thing first. Oh man. I might as well just start looking here first. And if I don't find anything good, then... I'll just uh, head back up there. Don't go there, it's dangerous. Okay. Why is it dangerous, though? What about here? Okay. Something's preventing you from going that way. Well, don't tell me we're gonna have to go back. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Something's preventing you from going that way. Alright, can I try going through here again? Okay, no, I can't. So then I should have gone back up. Damn it! <laughs> That's just terribly. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's go. Well, now it's so much easier to get through. <laughs> that was too easy. Alright. But now, for sure, we can go back. And uh, we can go through that one room. Was that through here? No, that wasn't. That was in the other place. That was... Ah! Over here. Alrighty. Let's do this. Wait here, Yuki. I'm going to step on the second switch. Cool. Can we? No, we can't jump. Damn it. <laughs> I was thinking she was going to use her super... Superpower in human strength <laughs> to <laughs> jump across. But no. We gotta go the long way. Baby steps. Baby steps. And we got this. Yay! The traps are deactivated. Yes! Now we can proceed. Cool! Hooray for no more traps. I should save that. Just in case. Because, uh. If I were to die if I go in there <laughs> and then have to start over, that's. That's just not cool. Okay. I had to double check and make sure that I'd saved, so. Here we go. Let's see what's inside. Ooh. Your health has been fully restored, and I wish I knew it was that in front of us. Or in this place. I might as well save here then. <laughs> there we go. Saving way too many times. But it's okay. It doesn't hurt to save constantly. <laughs> Door is shut tight by an unknown force. 
Okay. Hopefully we find Taiga in here. Door is locked. And there's something else. Ooh. Ooh. There's a message and now it's a thing over there that's shining. So let's see what's this say first. The path to the Queen's room. 1239. 1239. That is some important code. Code or maybe steps. I don't know. <laughs> Two pieces of paper on the floor with some kind of spell written on it. Ooh, well, who does? Cool. Totally need them. For now. And let's see. Several futons inside a dresser, but they're all covered in dust and spider webs. That same thing, and there's nothing else important, it looks like. Right? It kind of feels like this is blocked for a reason. Is that meant to be like that? That's kind of weird. Okay. I guess there's nothing important for now, so... Let's see if there's anything else. Nope. Nothing there. Ooh. More notes up, up here. So that's good. Let's see. Hirokage raised Paranormal Investigation Part 6. Uh-oh. I'm missing another one. I'm still missing part four. Apparently, Seiko doesn't sleep with her husband, Sochi. She prefers to sleep alone in the residency of the Kirihara family. She also prefers to be alone in her room because of her loner personality. Yukiko is the only one that she allows to go inside her room. Okay. Inside Seiko's room, there are many traps. I believe that the traps are only there to hide something that lies beyond her room. The trap deactivator switch was kept hidden. I guess it's going to be difficult to explore a room without caution. Okay. Door shut tight by an unknown force. And... Uh, is this her room? Well, there's nothing important so far. Nothing inside. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And a ghost. But first, let's see what this is. Book titled Kirihara Family Part 6, which instantly caught your attention. Kirihara Family's residence is extremely similar to Inn's. However, they don't accept any outsiders. This is because Souchi is an extremely downing person. He never trusts outsiders. The only outsider to ever stay in the residence is a swordsman named Kazama Harudo. This is probably because he is Yukiko's fiance. Oh. Well, now we know who he is. It's pretty surprising that he is also the only person that gets through Seiko's trap rooms by dodging the bullets with amazing speed. I don't think he was also the assassin, am I right? It's a possibility? Right? A spirit, watch out, Yuki. Huh? It's a blue spirit. It won't harm us. It seems that you know a lot about spirits, young miss. Well, I read a lot of supernatural books, so... Didn't know you were into that kind of thing, Yuki. I didn't mean to hide it, but it's weird to be interested in such a thing. So what brought you here? I don't think my room has anything useful to seek. I see. Sorry for interrupting. We'll be in on our way then. Wait. I've got something to tell you. Spit it out, Mr. Ghost. We don't have much time. It's worth your time, so please listen. This game has certain variables which will affect the ending and the storyline. Oh, I guess this is where it takes place. <laughs> okay, the variables are only cycle point. Huh? The variables are obtained through the, throughout the game. For example, examining things, making choices, and completing side quests. I didn't realize there were side quests. However, certain endings will only be unlocked by playing through a second playthrough. Oh, that's, that's just great. So replaying the game is a good choice if you're a story seeker. That's, that's fantastic. That'll be all. Would you like to hear it again? Nah, I, I got it. I don't understand what you're telling us. Sorry, but I don't understand at all. That's pretty much obvious. Well, I'm going to go somewhere else now. It's a pleasure to be able to see a living person again. I'm so curious about what he told us. Well, whatever. He said it himself that it is obvious for us not to understand. That means he's telling us a riddle. We got no time for such a thing, right? But that's what's making it more interesting. <laughs> well, I forgot that Yuki loves riddles. Forget it, Yuki. We should be on our way. Save that riddle for later, alright? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. A 
part of me says we shall figure out the riddle, which, which, how is that going to happen? I don't know. I'm pretty sure the way I play, I'm going to get bad endings. <laughs> That's always going to be a first for me. Door is locked. Alright, do we go to here? Yeah. We tried and it's no good. Okay, so that shut tight. How about this one? Shut tight. Did we go through here? I don't think we have. Right? No, we have. Okay. How come it seems like if there's supposed to be something bad in here? Huh. We did go through here though, right? Yeah, we did. What about down? Do we try here? I don't think we did. Let's see, how to unlock the rooms in the residency. Insert the right key into the red shelf's keyhole. Huh? Okay. There's a lot of keyholes on the shelf. Well, let's... I, I don't know if that's a good idea. Would you like to insert Seiko's bedroom key? Sure, I guess. On which keyhole? Let's try the lower middle. Nothing happened. Alright. Let's try the middle. Nothing happened. How about the top then? Something seems to have been triggered. So what now? Should we throw away the key? It's useless now that we already unlocked the room. Really? I've got a feeling it'll be useful for something in the future. Yeah, we should keep the key. I guess you're right. Trust your feelings, huh? Of course. I always trust my feelings. He decided to keep the key. Yay! Nothing at the side, and there's nothing else here. Okay. So let's figure out which is our room. Door's locked. Don't know if it's this one. Well, let's see what's, what's here. Ooh, there's a black colored diary. Yeah, let's read it. January 13th, 1933. Today I began my journey as a wanderer. Well, I just don't have any place to return. My family was completely wiped out when I was gone two days ago. But I won't avenge them. Avenging their death won't return them anyway. Ugh, what? What am I writing? Damn, my tears just won't stop. Damn. January 17th. Today I was able to protect a small village from an assault consisting of at least a hundred people. It's not for glory. I just want my sword technique to be useful for good people. February 16. Today I met Souchi Kirihara, the head of the infamous Kirihara family. I helped him in fending off his enemies, and thus I was given a place to live. March 20th. I found out that Seiko Kirihara's room uses a firearm trap. Although it seems that there's a way to cross the room without triggering any trap, I can't find it anywhere. In order to cross the room, I must use a running technique along with a quick slash counter in order to cut and stop the bullet in midair. When I arrived at Seiko's room, she laughed and gave me the instructions on how to cross the room. But I lost it the next day. Damn. Well, that's not good. That's just great. Very useful information there. And no help at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's see. What's this thing? There's a coin on the floor. Laundry in. That's cool. I guess. I wonder what do I need the yen for though? And there's something over there, and I can't reach it. But I guess it's not important. Nothing here is ever important. <laughs> of course there's important stuff here. What am I talking about? Okay, so there is a locked room. And uh, which one is it? Nope, that's not it. This one. Oh, we didn't go in here. What in the name of... This room is... Corpses everywhere, and it's one hell of a bloody room. We need to be careful. Yeah, I see more of a blood flow thing happening. Some pieces of paper. Who would ever thought that Maseko was so fearsome? Her room is protected by many firearm traps. To pass through the room, gah, I don't remember about it. Well, this is it for me. The rest of the paper was covered in blood. I don't know if I should uh, look for a paper that's got a hint or something. Because this doesn't look good, you know? 
door shut tight. Okay, I came in through here before. Was there another locked door? Well, that's where I came from. This one was open. What about over here? No, we came in through there. Wait a minute. There was a paper earlier that said something about 1239? Does that have to do with this? 1239. How would I know what's 1239? Well, that's just fantastic. Yuki? No! Ah. I went through the wrong thing. I shouldn't have gone through there. <laughs>